Hey YouTube, how's it going? Retro Dave Nintendo back with another video. It's been ages, um, it feels like forever since I've done a video, so I feel a bit rusty, um, literally just throwing this together. So I just thought, you know what, I'll make a video today, it's been so long. I think it's got to be five, six weeks, must be. It's June, I think. So middle of June, I can't remember. It's seriously been ages ago. Um, yeah, lots been going on. Um, back at home, one thing or another. Um, basically, long and short of it is, I'm about to start doing work on the house, like Monday. So today's Saturday, so I thought, if I don't do a video now, I'm probably not gonna get a chance to do one for some time. Um, well, I say that, um, I'll try and squeeze another one in before I pack all this room up. Um, but basically, at some point, um, in the next maybe month, six weeks, potentially, um, this will be packed up and out of here. Um, but I'll, I'll kind of update on that near the time. But for now, really, I just want to kind of show you uh, um, a few bits that I've bought over the last couple of months. Um, I mean, some of the stuff I've had since you know beginning of, beginning of June, um, NES stuff, and I bought a couple of bits more recently. Um, literally, like last weekend. Um, one item I picked up and this other item turned up in the post um, in the week, what was today, Saturday, was it yesterday, for a Thursday, I think it was Thursday, I've lost track, seriously, my mind, my brain is all over the place at the minute, um, yeah, I had so much going on with the house, it's like really stressful, um, trying to get the money together um, and get everything organised, just trying like all the materials, um, got like, a bathroom suite and that ordered and tiles and it's just like, it's been takes takes months trying to get all that organised. Do you know what I mean? Um, just trying to get everything organised. The house has drained every ounce of energy uh, out of my body and my mind. My, my brain capacity is like maxed out. So uh, just yeah, just sort of a random tangent there. But yeah, just kind of give you a eyes an update on what's going on. Uh, while I've been quite quiet, um, just had so much going on um, basically at home. So yeah, it's all going to kind of kick off. It's all kind of come up once, really, really quick. Um, one minute it's kind of you know building up and all of a sudden um, we've got all the money sorted out and now it's like full systems go. Um, got a holidays booked for the missus and you know she can get out of the way so I can crack on. Um, yeah it's just, oh, yeah seriously, it's just been like taking forever to get to this point. So enough rambling, um, I'll show you some bits and pieces shall we. So uh, I've got four box complete NES games. Um, and three other bits, I can't really say they are, I'll give it away straight away. Um, if some of you have been on my Instagram in the last week, um, you may have um, an idea what a couple of these items are going to be. So we'll leave it there. So don't run off the Instagram just yet, you'll see in a minute. Okay, so let's start the NES. Um, so these are the last four, oh, but pardon me, the last four NES games that are on the, uh, on the list. It, as it were so these are the last four um, I did I think I did um, mention this in my last video the one before the Sunset Riders one I can't remember I've not done any research on my last video I apologize um, the, the last four basically so all my loose carts are gone it thinks just box complete that's it now there's no more loose games um, these are the last um, the last four um, so right let's get into it sorry guys I'm being really flaky um, <laughs> so first up, the only power game um, in this lot, and that is Excite Bike. I've owned this before, I had it before Box Complete, um, I sold it off some time ago, um, and now I've got it back. So, Excite Bike is back in the collection, and it's in good condition. Um, unfortunately, it's got a little bit of sun fade, very light, it's kind of, kind of like light pink there on the side, but you know, we can live with that. Um, and where it's been opened back in the day, where the Nintendo stick is, a little bit of damage there. Other than that, not too much of a problem. So, that's the back. Still uh, still very, very respectable. I can't remember what this cost, it weren't a lot. I think it was 15, 20 quid, I don't know. It, it weren't a lot of money at all. So, one of us needed to get, um, upgraded from the loose cartridge so happy to finally track this one down um, it's quite difficult to find um, a decent box complete excite bike um, a lot of the black label games are getting harder and harder and harder to find um, so I'm kind of pleased I've got the ones I want now 
Um, so I haven't got to keep looking. So there we go. That is Excite Bike classic, classic Nintendo um, action game, racing game. Very simple, but yeah, very good fun. Okay, the next one. A um, bit of a story behind this one. Um, I went to uh, Arcade Club in June uh, for my birthday, and a few of the guys there, I told them because while I was away, um, package turned up in the post on the Saturday, and um, I was expecting a package from America. My wife, um, she messaged me and said, um, "We expected something at the post." So yeah, she goes, uh, "Well, it's come for the letterbox and jiffy bag." I was like, "Right, you're joking, aren't you?" And she's like, "I said, is there a box in there?" She goes, "No, I don't think so." So, yeah, I was not impressed. I, I rang her straight away and was like, please tell me that there's a box within the box of the tube bag. She's like, I don't think there is. I couldn't bear the suspense, basically. I told her, I said, look, just open the fucking package because I'm not going to be out of sleep knowing that <laughs> it's a game turned up. Now, it's not just any game. This game um, was, was brand new, factory sealed. Not that I bought it because of that, but it was basically mint. Um, it, it, the guy just advertised it uh, on auction. Um, I think I, I think I, I was the only bidder. He started it quite high. I thought, fuck it, I'll buy it because I'm not going to find a better one than that. And um, it's quite hard to find a box complete version of this game. This came up factory sealed. So anyway, I bought it. So the fact I just couldn't believe that he and I messaged him and said, "Can you send it in a box? Please send it well packaged. Um, it's got no long way to come." Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I put it in the box. Don't worry. So the idiot stuck it in a jiffy bag, posted it from the USA to the UK, and subsequently it turned up and the corners had got a bit of damage on and I was just like, are you serious? Like how fucking thick can you get? So this complete plank sent this game um, in a jiffy bag. And I was, yeah, I was quite pissed off to be fair, to be honest with you. I just, the, the last like, the last, what, f two or three games I've imported from the States have just, like, had problems with, like, fucking the, the seller and, like, the packaging and just, like, not describing things properly and, yeah, it's, get, it's just, yeah, got right on my nerves. So I've had quite a few bad experiences in the last, you know, few months um, importing stuff. And to be fair, um, I've been importing games now for, like, five or six years. To be honest, I've kind of had a fairly good ride of it. I've been stung for um, import duty numerous times, um, but not we really had an issue with games getting damaged or badly packaged. Um, but yeah, the last few months, I don't know what's going on, but the sellers just haven't got a fucking clue, or they're just stupid. I, I, and every time I ask them, you know, before I bid, before I commit to buying or bidding, I send a message saying, I want to buy this game, before I buy it, please confirm that you will send this game well packaged and in a box, a small flat rate box. Um, so I know it's going to come in good condition. They'll go, yeah, 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 fine. They do that, and nine times out of ten, that happens. And um, this guy said the same thing, and then for some reason stuck it in a in a bubble mailer. So I just thought, well, we were a twat. So I took pictures, stuck an opener case up, we toed and throwed. He knocked me a bit of money off. I'm not gonna send it back because I all the fate, um, the um, global shipping and all that bollocks. I can't be dealing with that. I, I got enough going on. I thought I'm not even gonna bother. I thought just sort me out. I think he gave me like twenty dollars back. It was something like that. I was like, yeah, whatever, fine. So I've kept the game. It's not you might you'll probably think I'm being like super anal about it, but the fact is this was absolutely my mint. Like it's brand new, and it just seems a shame that it's been spoiled. Um, in, I say spoiled. The corners are damaged a little bit, but it was perfect. But anyway, enough rambling. This wound me up, as you can probably tell. So it's Adventure Island Part Two. You're probably thinking I'm being like super anal about it, but basically, you know, it's that was damaged there, a bit furred up on the corners there. This side was a bit furred up. It's not. You know, you probably think I'm being like, really stupid about it, but if you look at like, you know, the damage. I mean, what? You... Look, it could have been far worse. Admittedly, it could have been um, a lot, lot worse. But the fact that the corners are just rounded off, um, yeah, just, 
just took the piss really. This was, I've opened it clearly, you can see it's flapping around with my fan on. But um, yeah, this was brand new, factory sealed, never ever opened, never ever played. And uh, I opened it and played it. Wicked game. Again, all I did was upgrade my loose cartridge. I had a power cartridge and sold it on. I was just so annoyed that it didn't need to be damaged. It could have been perfect, but yeah, inside is obviously perfect. But yeah, there's the long rant about that game. But classic platformer, still hard. The Adventure Island games are really hard in the NES. The first one is brutal. Um, this one's just as hard, really, Adventure Island 2. So that's the story behind that one, Adventure Island 2. Next up, two classic Konami games. This completes uh, a trilogy of games for me. Um, I think this one came, this was all right. I think this was this one was boxed up, packaged okay, to be fair. Uh, this is Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. So this is like pucker, you know. It's, I remember this, this was packaged really well. No issues with this one, from what I can remember. It's the back. All there, all complete. So now we've got the uh, trilogy of Castlevania games. So, yeah, happy with that. Lovely bit of box art. Really, really cool game. Hard. Um, confusing, I think, is the art. Is the, oh, it's, it's kind of obviously a more adventure style. A bit like Zelda 2, that kind of thing. Not like the other Castlevania games. Um, yeah, not got very far on it. But again, good one to uh, have to have the trilogy of the games in the NES. So that is Castlevania 2 Summer's Quest. Right, next up, last up for the NES games. Um, this was a cart shop grade. This one was one of the ones that annoyed me a little bit. Um, I was watching this for probably three months. Um, I kept asking, every time it ended and he relisted it, I said, we just take an EMS for it. Uh, would you I can't remember what it was now. He's like, no, 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 no. He held out, held out, held out. And I thought, like, this is one of the last games I want to get. And it never comes up in decent nick. And how he took the pictures, um, the angle of the camera on the light on the box was quite effective. And the fact that I didn't see a mark on the box until I got it in my hand, um, which pissed me off a little bit. I, and again, I just thought, you know what? Fucking whatever. I could not be bothered. Um, it's it looks like it's something's been sat on the box, like um, maybe a cup or something. I don't know, but there's a mark on the front. When you hold it up in the light, you can see it. It did annoy me when I opened the box. I was like, oh, fucking joking me. I knew there was a slight crease on the top of the lid, but yeah, I didn't know about the other bit. But again, by this point. I just start. I was so pissed off with the eventual and I thought, whatever. So it's Life Force. So I had Life Force Salamander, the PAL version, and mine had sellotape all around the box. Um, and I bought that probably about five years ago, really cheap. Um, and I thought, I need to upgrade it. I can't be having sellotape on the boxes. Um, I thought, no, I need to upgrade it. So I was watching this one again, like I said, for about three months. It must have been. It was constantly being realistic, and I was like, "Come on, mate, take something off it." And he, he, he didn't, and I thought, "Joe, you know what? I'll just buy it." So I bought it eventually, and look on the face of it, it looks okay. But as soon as you get a bit of light on it, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. Uh, the, the light isn't doing it. Can you see that? It's like um, that swirl. It goes kind of round like that, almost like something's been laid in the box. That's what fuck's sake but what, what can you do and there's a mark there above the R as well I know these are old games I'm, I'm totally aware of that but when you take pictures you know you've got to show the damage haven't you this was like this is very good I know I knew about that the crease there I could live with that um, but yeah that just annoyed me if if that was mentioned I knew exactly what was what I was going to be getting would have been different. The fact that he didn't mention that, I thought that's a bit out of order to be honest. But what can you do? What can you do? So other than that, very nice Life Force, excellent side scroll and shoot 'em up for the NES. Highly recommend it if you haven't played it. it. Again, difficult to find box complete. 
in decent condition. Um, yeah, th this was the best one I've seen for a long time, but I was just a bit, again, a bit disappointed about this. But what can you do? So it was like two games in a row. It was two games in a row, like two packages in a row. At the um, Adventure Island game, that really pissed me off. Then this one turned up very shortly afterwards, and I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm so glad I finished buying um, NES and SNES games now because it's just it's getting ridiculous. With, uh, like the the importing thing, I thought it's just getting too much. Like it's costing a fortune um, with the um, global shipping, the risk of damage. You know, I've had that's what I had. Um, what's the one I got damaged? Gallagher. That's right. Gallagher got damaged by the inspection at customs. I was like. Seriously, it's so risky. Just I, I, I've been taking a risk on importing games for years, but yeah, I'm so glad that's done with now. I'm, I mean, I say done with. There'll probably be a few other games I'll get because oh, I've still got the Game Boy to, to do. But um, yeah, the NES and SNES stuff and it, it, the prices of them, it's taking more of a risk. You're paying like 100 quid a game or whatever, you know, and it gets damaged in the post. It just, it, it, it's a joke, but. Yeah, it's done. So I've got those games. Happy days. So I've got three other things I'm going to show you. Go, again, look, I'm, I do apologise. I'm a bit all over the place um, tonight. I've got a lot on my mind for Monday. I'll be painting, pulling up carpet, skirting board, architrave, plastering. Um, well, I won't plastering. We're getting the ceiling and walls plastered. It's just yeah, I've got all that in my mind. So I apologise for being a bit off today. Um, I bought a uh, new USB controller for the computer. Um, when I did the live stream, so I did um, a couple of fighting games. Uh, what was one of them? I can't buy something on the shelf. I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, Pirates of Dark Water. The D-pad on my old USB controller. Let me show you. I think, I think it's in here somewhere. So this is the controller. I'll get it out the drawer. This is the one I this is the one I was one I was using. Right, it's a piece of shit. I think it was like a fiver, and I've had this ages. But the D-pad is really, really shit. So buttons are okay. D-pad rubbish. So you try and do any like moves i.e. so on that part of start water to you have to do a running jump you have to double tap and then they make you run and you jump it weren't having it and playing gremlins on the nes as well um it's so sensitive you just you can't i can nearly know death run gremlins from start to finish in 20 minutes this controller made it impossible it's honestly i'm blaming the controller 100 percent not me, it's the controller. And I proved that by buying this one. So if you wanna get um, a USB controller for your computer um, that's re more retro, not a uh, Xbox 360 controller. I've got an Xbox 360 controller, but I don't like playing old games on that. It just doesn't feel right with them because the D-pad on that is shit as well for old games. So I highly recommend the iBuffalo um, gamepad. Now, these come, I think, from Japan or China. I think um, they're Japanese. I can't remember where I've got it. This was in the UK. But if you search up on eBay, you'll see these come from either Japan or China. I can't remember where it is now. Um, but I think they're like, I think you buy them new in the box for like 20 quid posted. It's like they're not, they're not that expensive, but they're much, much better. The D-pad is much better. It's I don't want to say it's exactly like an official SNES pad because it's not. This is higher. This this is definitely slightly higher than a normal SNES controller, but it is a hundred times better than that pile of shit in the drawer. Um, so for playing games on the computer, like live streams, things like that, highly recommend the iBuffalo controller. It's if you've got a cheap five pound USB controller from eBay, bin it and just buy one of them because you, you'll notice a difference straight away. The D-pad is what sells it to me. They're well worth it. So that's that. Now, 
the next two things, I'll save the big one to last, was well, two big ones. This one's actually gonna be heavy, so I'm gonna move my uh, games out of the way in case we have an accident. So I ordered this, um, okay, let me let me go back a minute, let me go back. So at, in this in this room, right, there's gonna be, this is all gonna be ripped out. Everything's going out, boxed up, fucking out of here. All this is getting ripped out, all the walls, all the ceiling, all the plasterboard, flooring, it's being stripped back, a whole lot, out. And when I redo it, we're gonna knock into another room and I'm gonna have um, arcade, uh, arcade in one half, game room in the other half. So that's what's happening. Um, so when I'm redesigning my game room, um, I'm gonna have a new sofa, it's gonna be a slightly smaller sofa, um, Popeye next to me is going to be in the arcade area and there's going to be a desk uh, to my left so on the desk I want to have my computer which is on here and as you can see the keyboard is kind of on the arm of the sofa and the mouse is on the cushion so it's no, not ideal so I want the computer on a desk set up properly on a desk um, and I also want to have my um, Sinclair ZX Spectrum set up as well because at the minute if I want to play that I've got a Put it on like a little coffee table and it's just really annoying. I can't put the joystick that's coming in my lap. I've got nowhere really to set it up and it kind of it actually deters me from playing it. It's more of a faff to get it all out and fucking stick it on the table. And I thought if I can have the Specky set up on the desk with a joystick, ready to go, so I can literally turn up, turn the telly on, turn it, plug it in, boom, off we go. If I've not got a faff around with cables and trying to Put it on a coffee table and put the joystick on my, in my hand and all that. I thought I'll fuck that. So yeah, make my life easier. I'll get a desk um, here, and I need to buy another TV to have it uh, set up because I don't want to run it on a um, modern telly, um, and I can't really set it up on this monitor because I've, I'm defeating the object. So basically, I'm looking for another telly. Um, Started looking at old 14 inch portable CRT TVs. And I'm fucking looking and thinking, oh, these are shite. And I've had 14 inch portable TVs before, they're okay, but they're quite bulky at the back. I thought, this, and the picture's not great. And I thought, what, you know what I mean? Like, how can I go from having the Sony PVM, the 20 inch monitor I've got that I've been using for the last few years, how can I look at that and then go and buy a shitty 14 inch portable TV and the picture's going to look fucking shoddy compared to that and I thought no I've got to buy another monitor so that's exactly what I've done so I've basically gone and bought another PBM specifically for the specky setup so I'm going to try and lift it up by dropping it on my feet so basically it's a little baby what's that baby it's quite heavy so it's a 14 inch it's quite a it looks big but trust me compared to that thing there's no way I could probably pick that up and wave, this, wave that around like I can this one so it's a lot smaller, it's got the um, RGB input at the back and the composite as well. I'll whiz it round for those of you that are interested. So you can see it's got the RGB at the bottom and your composite at the top. So basically you buy the connector which I've really got, I actually got two for my other PVM so I've borrowed one of those to test it out. Just needs a, need a little bit of um, fettling in the menu so I got brave got into the um, the setup menu started pissing around with the screen it's probably not perfect because I haven't got the um, the test grid but I did it by eye um, did it as best I could by eye I've done the uh, I spent like three hours in operation of getting that right by eye so I had a little play around with this one um, got it looking better when I got it the image was slightly um, curved up here kind of bowed round um, it was kind of a little bit off off key so I've messed about a bit for about an hour and a half um, yesterday and now fits the screen nice all looks pucker real nice colors it was packed it was posted I didn't pick it up I actually this got posted um, I was quite concerned about is this going to tap in one piece but it was sent in a huge box it was double boxed wrapped in bubble wrap the outer box was just full of those packing peanut things 
you could kick that down the road and this wouldn't get smashed. I was that confident. The box was ginormous. This, it was literally probably four times the size of this now. It was massive. It took up the whole hallway. So I was really, really pleased that it got sent in that in that way. Um, it would come from a company, um, come from London. Um, it was, I guess, some like audio company, video company, and they packaged it really well. They knew what they were doing. So really, really happy with that. Um, so that is going to go on my desk when I get it. I'm not got a desk at the minute, but when I get my room done, this baby's going on the desk. Specky's going to be hooked up to it, and then the computer, the computer monitor I've got will be wall mounted like it is now on the other side. So I'll have this one facing inwards, Specky there, and then the computer monitor on the opposite wall next to this. Be bang on. So that is the story with that one. Now, ugh, the last thing. Last thing, um, now I see this, um, kind of by just total, by total fluke, just I weren't, I haven't been on eBay for ages, for like I have been looking for games, and uh, I just, I've got a safe search um, for a Nintendo, uh, I think Nintendo display, or Nintendo shop, Dis Nintendo shop display, something like that. So, and I see it had a little blue circle, I thought, oh, let's have a look. I click on it and I see this and I was like no fucking way and it was in the UK now I've seen I think three maybe two or three of these in the last six years um, since I've been here and I thought you know what I'd really love one of them but they've all been in America and they've all been like 250 quid plus postage tax and the rest of it and I thought I can't be paying that and the risk and the risk of damage to something this fragile it's not worth it. It will turn up bent, and I'll be that. That'll be the end of it. So, um, oh, as much as I liked it, I loved the look of it. I thought, how am I going to ever get one of these? And then I'm literally on my phone. Um, well, that's not the Saturday. I think it was uh, Thursday, Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday. I saw this and thought, no fucking way. Looked it up. It was. It was in the UK. I was like, it's in Kent somewhere. And I thought, what are the chances? How is this possible? Like, it's in the UK. And apologies for saying the eye. Um, I was just like, I've got to have it. I thought, I don't care what it costs. I'm having it. And uh, I'll, I'll bid on it. And it sat at 50 quid for like, well, it basically sat 50 quid for the last four seconds when I jumped on it. And I just thought, right, I'm putting all or nothing in. Put my bid in, bang. And then done the old spinning circle. And then I was fucking, Mrs. said I went white as a sheet, because I was thinking, she goes, have you got it? I said, I don't know. I just put the, put my bid in, not gonna tell you what I put in, but I put a bid in, I thought, I don't care what it costs, I'm buying it anyway. Um, so, put the money in, spinning circle, flashed up, congratulations, you won it. I thought, what a fucking result. So I told her I won it, and um, yeah, I was really, really happy, really happy with it. So, basically, I'll show you what it is. It's actually quite big. I'm going to have to sit right back and show you. It is a shop display sign from 1989 for the advertisement of Mario 2. Um, and you'll see by the artwork. This is awesome. You look at this. So it is Nintendo Entertainment System with the official logo on. It is 30 inches high. So if you can get an idea, if I sit it back like that double-sided so it's basically like a rigid plastic with a cardboard insert if you look in the video you can't see it but in the bottom here you can just see there's carb corrugated cardboard inside so it's like a rigid plastic um, as you can see it's not like all embossed in the light see that it looks the nuts honestly uh, th this this is going on that wall that green wall you see now that's for exactly where it's going. Let me just um, sort the chains out. So the shelves are going to be gone, obviously. This is all going to be um, replastered and all the rest of it. And this baby is going up on the wall. This is going to be the central focal point of the gaming area on the wall up there. And that is going to look the bees knees. And I'm really, really happy I got that. From seeing these and thinking, how am I ever going to get one? And then seeing it in the UK, I thought, I've got to have it. So yeah, uh, it weren't cheap. I'll tell you what I paid for it, uh, 185 quid. And 
I'd put in a lot more than that to make sure I was going to get it. And uh, I would have been happy paying, you know, more, a lot more than that. I just wanted it to be on the wall. That Mario, the Mario 2 box art is my favourite um, of the NES um, game boxes. Um, I love the just the way he, the colours, the way he's got the onion now he's jumping. And on the NES box, the blue background, the cloud, really, really like that. Uh, so to have a blown up version of it like this on my wall, that to me is worth you know the 200 or odd quid all day long. So really, really happy with that. Um, so that is my pickup of yeah, I can't say the year. I've had other things that I really, really wanted, but that is awesome. Yeah, I was really, really, really happy with that. So guys, that is it for now. What we do? Half an hour. I've waffled them. I've completely been off the rails tonight um, yeah really really pleased that sign happy I've got the monitor um, I've got a few other bits and pieces for the house I'm not gonna bother showing them I've got like a bar store and things like that I'll, I'll do that another time but um, yeah it's all gonna be a bit over the place like I am at the minute with everything that's going on the videos are a little bit sketchy um, oh hang on no I've got one other thing I've got one other thing to show you um, basically Oh, I don't want to open this all out. It's what it is. It's a, a Zelda single duvet merit bed sheet. You, you must know, recognise what this looks like. I'm not going to unfold it all, but basically, it's a single bed sheet. And this comes with a Pokemon one. I won't interested in the Pokemon one. Um, but this is a full size single duvet. And what I was intending to do with that is create like a bean bag. Um, out of the material, I was going to get someone to make me buy a bean bag and recover it with this. I'm not actually sure if that's going to actually happen now because how I've um, got my room planned out, I'm not sure if that's going to work. Um, it may do. I'm going to have to wait and see. Um, obviously, I'm never going to use that as a bed sheet. It's not going to happen. But uh, but yeah, I'm thinking I want to make use of the material, and I'm thinking I might sacrifice it and put it as a bean bag. There's an extra um, extra seat in here, um, so when I have people around or the kids come in or whatever, they can sit on it. But I'm thinking, is it going to be in the way? Um, yeah, not too sure on that yet, but I thought I just remembered I've got to show that, so I showed you that. But yeah, Zelda Mario themed single duvet may become a bean bag. Don't know. Watch this space, you'll find out. So let me go back to where I was a moment ago. So, like I said before, all this is getting ripped out. Um, I'm going to be cutting a hole in the wall, that end, um, behind my bookshelves. Um, I'm going to be creating an arcade area. Um, there's some stuff on the pipe on the horizon, uh, arcade wise. I'm not going to say too much just yet because nothing's actually in concrete. Um, but basically, yeah, there's oil in the cogs for arcade stuff. But we'll, we'll, I'll kind of up update you on that as and when I know things are actually happening at the minute it's kind of the oars in the cog and um, nothing's actually you know happened but there's things in place so I can make things happen if that makes sense don't want to I don't want to spoil it too much I don't want to give anything that much away um, yeah it's kind of like there's things going on in the background I'm trying to make things work out and if it comes out the way I want it to, it's going to be the bollocks. So you have to just wait and see um, what's happening with that. But again, that's going to be a bit of, a little way off yet. August is basically consumed with decorating the whole house, new bathroom, um, new carpet and plastering. The garden's going to be completely dug up. We're having the landscape, the garden landscape is just going to be a mental um, a good few months. So, not sure when this is all going to happen in here, but it is going to happen. Um, it's just trying to do the logistics of the garden, um, getting the builders in, um, in what order we're going to do things. So, when I know more, I'll let you guys know. Um, but at the minute, I think the videos are going to be a bit hit and miss. Um, I'm a bit hit and miss. I, I know I'm all over the place today, and I have been probably the last four or five weeks as we've been building up to this point um, knowing that the next week it's going to be all systems go with the house so yeah been a bit um yeah just stressed out and just tired and just, just basically done in done in everything i thought 
I've not done a video for ages. It feel it feels like I haven't done anything to do with YouTube for two months. It probably it's not. I think it's more like six weeks. Um, I replied to a few comments this morning from my previous video. I've not even looked at it. I've not gone on it. I've not read nothing. I've just completely zoned out um, from YouTube. Really, I've watched the odd video, um, but. But then again, I've not, not, I haven't seen many videos being uploaded. To be honest with you, from the, from the, you know, the crowd that we normally watch. Um, so yeah, I think everyone's been a bit quiet. I guess it's summer. A lot of people are on holiday. Um, yeah, just one of them in it really. But I think get through, get through August, September. I think I'll feel a lot better about everything once know if it's kind of like panned out where we are with the building work, and I think things will probably calm down a little bit. Um, and I won't, and I won't be so stressed out. I think I'm seriously think I'm like going grey. My hair's falling out. It's like doing my head in the whole building thing. Yeah, doing any work in your house or buying selling houses is does your just basically fucking does your head in. Anyway, I've completely gone off on a mad random tangent for 36 minutes eight seconds, and that's 36 minutes you won't get back if you've been watching this long. So again, sorry guys, if you, I appreciate it. If you sat and listened through the waffle, you've seen the pickups, and uh, yeah, I appreciate you sticking around. Guys, I'm gonna leave it there, because I'll be chatting shit all night. I'm actually gonna chill out now, play some games, and I'm gonna prepare myself for uh, the weekend uh, of packing up shit tomorrow, and then building work Monday. So I'm not sure when you're gonna see me again uh, for a video. I before basically before um, before this is all packed up, I would do a, probably a quick video, maybe, I don't know, again, this is all like really like off the cuff, but I want to try and show you a last like look around this room before it all gets ripped out, again, that all depends on how things pan out over the next few weeks, but that's my intention, so if you see a video come up of the Rocker Room Tour kind of thing or whatever, then that's what it is, it's, I'm doing a quick video, pardon me before I rip this out but that won't happen I can't make promises it's literally I, I can't explain it's completely everything's up in the air it's a nightmare but bear with me so again I'll leave you now and I uh, will catch you again soon soon maybe might, might be a month or two don't know but yeah take it easy people um, and I'll catch you again when I see you take care cheers